Now, there's a lot of articles in the media that tell you, hey, this is happening somewhere in the world, and this is why you need to hate it. And I generally don't understand like why people like doing this to themselves. Why do they want to share these articles and, and make you feel hate within those seconds? It's like, I want to have a little bit of nirvana in my life. I like to take a chill pill. Why would I want to get angry over something that's not even in my powers to change? Because like, for example, Kotaku is pointing out that there is a place, not in my country, not even on my continent, but in Japan. And it's not a vogue in Japan. It's not, it's not like taking place everywhere. No, it's in one city in Japan. And there is one place where people are cosplaying as national socialists. And they can't sleep at night. They're, they're like, this reporter is probably in his bed going, oh, no, Japan. Japan, why? Why can't you center Japan? Oh, oh. And he wakes up covered in sweat from the evil nightmares that he is having with uh, the this cute Führer, I guess, or whatever he is, or she is, huh? taking over. Do you know what I noticed? It's like uh, left-leading people at this point, they cannot tell fact from fiction anymore. They, they do not know the difference between make-believe and reality. They're like children. How can you not love them? You need to take care of them. That's why they need censorship. They need mommy and daddy to take care of them because they, they literally cannot discern the difference between pretending and the real thing. They believe, no, I, I, I'm, okay, like what I'm telling you is the truth. I know it sounds difficult to believe if you're a normal person, but they legitimately believe that places like this normalizes national socialism, right? So here's my take, if that's the case, okay? All of the people at Kotaku, they're probably democratic socialists, right? Because they're wealthy enough to be at that level. So, so they're all probably advocating for some form of socialism. Here's my take. Why don't you build a lot of communist bars in the United States and you just build the bars that people go there and they cosplay as communists and then you're going to get communism in the United States? Brilliant solution. Am I not right? I mean, instead of censorship, instead of TOS, instead of all the nonsense, if you want to end domestic violence, what you need to do is to create bars where people cosplay as individuals who do not do domestic violence. People cosplay as individuals who are taught not to rape. And then you end rape worldwide. Like, it's not going to happen because you normalize it, right? Like, you started with a joke. Like you joke about not doing it, you joke about ending the patriarchy, and then the patriarchy just stops being because it normalizes because of your jokes, right? This is how it works. Am I understanding the, the logic of this? So I'm supposed to be outraged because some people are having fun, right? As edgy as it is, I get it. But you know, like 10 years ago, this wasn't that edgy. I mean, you had the, what was it? Wasn't there a royal guy in the United Kingdom at the palace who also cosplayed? For a Halloween with, with the Hugo Boss uniform? Didn't we have that? Didn't we have um, comedians in the United Kingdom cosplaying? I mean, don't you have actors and all the other stuff? People do shit that is edgy. Do you know, like when I grew up, the, being a Nazi wasn't edgy, but like playing Diablo was very edgy because people were very religious. I remember my grandmother freaking the hell out. When she found the logo of the game that I was playing, like she found the box of Diablo and she freaked out. I'm not kidding. Like she genuinely thought that I'm worshiping the devil. She was looking in my room to find the altar to see if I sacrificed the bunny to Cthulhu or something. I don't know, but she was really upset about it. It's pretty much with, with this journalist. It's like, ugh. Who starts an article with ugh? Like, ugh, is the sound of a person that can't speak. Probably what the cavemen used to do back in the day. They couldn't articulate themselves, so they were like, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Absolutely unreal. You know what this reminds me of? Like, the, the level of moral busybody that, that someone somewhere is doing something that you don't like. It reminds me when I was a kid, <clears throat> before social media, what people used to do was to gossip, especially the, the older ladies, right? So... What they would do is that they, let's say an old woman would come to your house asking for sugar because she ran out and she's cooking. Right? 
We didn't have supermarkets back then. We didn't have 24-7. So they would come like at 6 p.m. It's like, oh, do you have some sugar? Because I ran out. So you'd go into the kitchen to give her sugar. And she would ask if she can go to the bathroom. And at the bathroom, she would start looking through your medical cabinet to see what pills you're taking. And then she would go out and it's like, oh, I found birth control pill. Mm, that is so not good. Do you know like that, that a Christian doesn't do that? That's literally what they're doing. <laughs> It's like the, the gossiping. So, so you have Kotaku phoning this club in the middle of goddamn nowhere. And from my perspective, because again, like I'm like Japan is so far away. And this is one play, right? So they're phoning and, and they're happy that all the other internet websites took it down and they're not promoting it. And it's like, whatever, dude. But it's like, is this what you're losing sleep over? Uh, it's not even in, in the United States. Like, if it was in California, yeah, I would have been, okay, that's newsworthy. I mean, that's funny as fuck. <laughs> I mean, right, right? If it was in Texas, I would be like, okay, it's in Japan. Do you know what else is in Japan? <laughs> Should I tell them? <laughs> oh, my God. This this is just the, the funniest thing ever. Again, the funniest thing is their reaction to it. It's It's like... Giving water to the Wicked Witch. It's like showing kryptonite to Superman. It's, it's, it's like, the fact that it upsets them is the funny thing. Like, their reaction to it is the funny shit. That, that's why I'm happy to see their reaction, their faces. Like, I, I wish I was there to see Brian's Ashcraft, who wrote this article, to see his face. Like, can you please send me pictures? When you found out, like, can you, can you replicate your, your facial figure when you saw... Because I'm thinking, like, man... I must live such a weird life because there is nothing in the world that can shock me like this. Unless I see some illegal stuff. But I'm talking like legal stuff, right? Like not horrible things that like some car crash or whatever. And you, you get the guy that's still a paste on the side. Like, okay, that, that is something that I would understand. But like something that's legal and you see it and, and it's like, oh, ugh, ugh. And by the way. I, I guess I have to, right? Because it's YouTube. You, you have to say you disavow. Uh, if I was the quartering, this is what I would need to do. Of course, I would never go to that bar. Of course, I would never build such a bar. It's not Nazis. It's cosplay. All right? Like, if you freak out over this, you were supposed to freak out over cosplay of succubuses? Cosplays of the devil? The cosplay of, like, no. Okay? It's fictional. It's make-believe. I'm an adult. I genuinely do not think that this is hurting anyone. I don't think Japan is going to turn to National Socialism over this. I don't think you're going to have people persuaded. And if you do think that's the case, build some communist bars. I'm pretty sure you can build more socialist bars to counteract the evil with the goodness in the world. How about that, huh? Good God, I, I, I can't believe we're at this level. It's pretty much like... Back in the days where you had to argue that Dungeons and Dragons won't get you to worship the devil. Now you need to argue that some people having fun in a bar. And, and I, I admit it's edgy, okay? But I grew up with Jackass, South Park, and then all the other shit. So maybe my sensibilities aren't at the level of the California Nias level of sensibilities. I, I, I'm a little bit too insensitive. Huh? I need some sensitivity training. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.